All right, number six, which list contains exactly two prime numbers and two composite numbers? So a prime number is only, uh, is a number that is uh, the only factors it have it has the only whole numbers that multiply into it are one and that number. So a number like 13 is prime because one and 13 multiply into it, but no other number smaller than it can multiply and give you 13 exactly. No other whole number. A composite number is just any other number. Uh, so it's a number that has factors that are, uh, anything other than one and the number itself. So, uh, for example, 14 is a composite number because seven and two go into it. And actually all even numbers other than two are composite numbers because they can all always, they always have two as, um, as a factor. So let's go through each of these lists and see if they have exactly two prime numbers and two comp composite numbers. So A, 13, as we said, is prime. 14 is not prime. 2 and 7 go into it. 15 is not prime. 3 and 5 go into it. 16 is not prime or composite. Uh, so the last three are composite because 8 and 2 go into it. Then we have B, which is 2, which is prime, the only even number that is prime because 2 and 1 go into it, right? So that's the only two numbers that go into it. So technically 2 is prime. 4 is not prime because 4 and 1 and 2 and 2. 5 is prime. 6 is not prime because 3 and 2. So 2, so B, 2 and 5 are both prime. 4 and 6 are not prime. Let's just go through C and D. So the answer is B, but let's just go through C and D to make sure. 7 is prime. No numbers can go into it. 8, 4 and 2, so composite. 9, 3 times 3, so composite. And 10, 5 times 2 equals 10, so it's 3 composite there. And D, 25, 5 times 5 equals 25, 26. So that's composite. 26 is composite because 2 and 13. 27 is uh, composite because 3 and 9, 29 is prime. So that also has 3, uh, 3 composite and 1 prime. So the answer is B.